today guys we're going to show you a new social media image basically showing off the train design of Storm Chasing. In a world where the waste has always been wild, one coaster will stand above the rest and tap above the rest of the Western Valley they call Pons Park. There's a storm coming up. And that storm I think that made me sound like a western prospector, but anyway, we'll move on. <laughs> Hello there, guys. My name is Kirsty Sardongstaborn, but built for theme park news, and welcome to a theme park news update from Tornado Springs, the Western Rally, home to the devastated Tornado Springs town, devastated and on the rebuild thanks to Storm Mac. Damn you, Mac rides. But today, guys, we're going to show you a new social media image basically showing off the train design of Storm Chaser. Now we already knew the train design before but this was a great look at the specific details on the vehicle and I'm also going to be sharing some statistics about this coaster and you know about the rest of the area for those of you who are new to the channel and have no idea what I'm talking about. So before we get started guys please like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family and on social media and make sure you keep getting your questions in for our next Q&A session. <laughs> When we celebrate 2,000 subscribers in our next Q&A session, that's when it'll be released, basically. I mean, come on, simple logic. And for now, guys, let's get into this video. So, let's talk about Storm Chaser and share the image of the train. So, on your screen right now is the train design. So, basically, for those of you who are new, Storm Chaser is the brand new roller coaster opening in 2021. It was scheduled for May this year. It was scheduled to be last weekend, um, officially. Uh, for the media day however it's now 2021 it's now this time next year uh, but we're gonna be talking about the statistics of the coaster some facts and stats for those of you who want them uh, so this is manufactured by Mac rides it's a spinning coaster it's a clone or near, or near enough clone of one in America which is Sierra Sidewinder at Knott's Berry Farm in California uh, so if you've ridden Sierra Sidewinder then it's pretty much gonna be that kind of experience over here uh, so basically the height of this is 65 feet, the theming is created by MK Themed Attractions and Leisure Expert Group BV. It was installed by RCS GmbH, uh, and like I said, it's scheduled, scheduled, scheduled to open in 2021. Now, Poulton's Park is in uh, Romsey, uh, which is in Hampshire, so it's right at the bottom of the country, uh, and it's already got five roller coasters, the Caterpillar Coaster, the Cobra, the Dino Chase, Flight the Pterosaur and Velociraptor. Now on, this, on that screen is that train design and would you all agree, doesn't it look beautiful? It looks absolutely gorgeous. I mean, co I mean coaster lovers, coaster trains everywhere will be looking at that picture and you could literally see Storm Chaser as basically the most beautiful person on a coaster train tinder i mean a coaster train tinder would be very very cool and i don't know what it would look like but if you if you if you want me to imagine what a coaster tinder would look like please let me know uh but this train design looks beautiful with the the wooden design and the whole silver uh you know supporting the wood as the, pr the secondary color to the primary color of wood um, and I feel like, as well as Time Traveler at Silver Dollar City, which is an extreme spinning coaster, I think that this could be one of the, if not, if not arguably, the best train design, you know, from Matt Wright. And I think that we are definitely looking here at a very, very, very gorgeous looking coaster. Um, so I really am excited for what's happening. Now, in terms of the whole site and what's been happening over the last couple of weeks, um, that's, you know, Tornado Springs obviously hasn't, you know, been constructed yet. Uh, well, it has been, but like they haven't really continued construction on it yet. Um, it's still, it's at the stage where 
it's awaiting final touches. It's getting paint off, it's little cleanups here and there. There's still a little, little bit of work that needs doing to it. But I think it's at a position where it could be open this year. But I think because they're delaying it till next year because of the whole, you know, crisis. I mean, we are in lockdown after all. Um, I think that's a smart move by Poulton's because it brings brand new guests into the park next year to really, you know, engage with the area and make sure that next year is their big year for unveiling this new area and this new coaster as well. So I think that Storm Chase is going to be a big, big project for the UK next year when it opens. And I think that the train design, like I said, looks brilliant. And comment down below what you guys think. It's brilliant, doesn't it? Uh, so thank you very much, guys, for watching this theme park newsroom update from Storm Chaser at Poulton's Park and Tony Springs. Please like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Shell, Kill in the Coast Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.